Hello everyone, I'm CM1 and um, today we are going to make a more advanced download client. A few tutorials ago, or a few videos back, if you remember I created a basic version of a download client, but this time we're gonna make it we're gonna make a more advanced. Sorry I couldn't um, do this step by step, but I have it pre-made, so you'll, all you can, all you have to do is just copy it, so things can be done quicker, okay? Uh, that's fair for you. Okay, first of all you want to go to your start, programs, and you want to go to Visual Studio. I use Visual Studio 2010 and I already have it open, okay? Then it will be start, new, project, whatever you call it, make sure it's a Twinless form application, and since I've already got this open, this is my project. I call this the advanced download client, but in the form name it's just called download manager. Okay? So, as you can see that isn't much difference between my basic and this although I have cleaned it up we've got the we've got um, the download URL text box and all this stuff into a add download queue and I've added a button in there to add to queue these list boxes are list boxes are your queues okay okay so you need um, another group box two labels, a progress bar, a download button, cancel and an exit button. Okay. And down here you'll need a save file dialog. You can however modify the basic um, download, man, download client that um, I created for you. In a few tutorials ago, you can modify this because this is practically a modified version but in a new project. So, yeah, so expect most of the code to be the same. But there are minor modifications here and there. Okay, for the first, firstly, you need two group boxes one, two, three, four, five, six labels, one, two text boxes. One, two, three, four, five um, buttons, one radio button, and two list boxes. Okay, I've already, I've already said that. Now, in this add to queue button, you'll need to write this code down. List URL dot items dot add txt URL dot text. So this will contain whatever's being put into here and then you want to do list save to the items that add txt save to dot text so that is put into there I'll show you why in a few minutes then after that we're gonna do txt url dot clear and save to dot clear so these two are cleared up so another entry can be added and as you can see, we do not initialize any download because we're gonna make it because it's forming a queue. We don't really want to keep on um, hitting at the queue and automatically downloading it unless you want to do that. Okay. Now, in here, the save it's just the same code as the basic download manager. Just save file dialog one dot show dialog txt save to dot text equals save file dialog one dot file name so it'll only accept one file name if you have it set to file names it'll do multiple names and that will um, screw it up okay now into the download button we're gonna write the following code and this is quite a big chunk so First of all, you need to start off with a try try statement and catch and try. 
and within the try part, you want to put HTTP client equals new web client. Oh, and I've almost forgot. You'll need this private with events HTTP client as web client, and you'll need to import system.net. I for nearly forgot about that. Remember, you can always pause the video whenever you need to, so you can catch up. Okay. Now, we'll need to declare a variable called dim total as integer, and that will be the total items within the list box, but only in the URL, because it, it'll be the same amount in both. So you only need one of them. Okay. Dim current as integer equals minus one okay then we're going to do a while loop so while current is less than total we are going to do list url dot selected index equals current plus one so this will be zero if selected index will equal zero then it'll be one then it'll be two then it'll be three because we've got this current equals current plus one same thing goes to save2 as well, so lsc save2 dot selected index equals current plus 1. Now as you see, I haven't put any current equals current plus 1 between the two because that will screw it up, and we don't want it screwed up. Then we're going to declare another um, variable called um, download, set it as string equals list url dot selected item. So whatever this selected index equals, it'll bring up that selected item. It'll save it into the download variable. The same thing happens for the save. So save to dot selected item gets put into the save variable. Then we're gonna initialize our download. So it'll be http client dot download file async open bracket new URI open bracket download close bracket comma save close bracket okay and then we're going to do lbl current stat dot text equals current status downloading so this will change to downloading and then we're going to do another loop so do while http client is busy application dot do events and we're going to loop it while the http client is busy because we don't want to flood it. We don't want to flood the HTTP client because it can only handle one download at a time unless you know how to create multi-threads. And that's something we're not advanced into yet. <coughs> okay, if it does bring an error anywhere then it will um, just simply clear the save two items and the URL items because this error will probably spring up when it's finished, I'd say. Now, then for the cancel, it's just um, HTTP client dot cancel async. And for exit, it's just HTTP client dot cancel async near dot close. Okay, down here we have HTTP client download progress changed. To set that, you just gotta simply hit go into here. HTTP client and make sure download progress change is selected. Okay? And it automatically creates a sub for you. And in here we're gonna set progress bar one dot maximum equals E dot total bytes to receive and progress bar one dot value equals E dot bytes received. And the LVL downstat dot text which is this We'll say download status and e dot progress percentage, so it will display the percentage of the download. Okay, and down here, if e dot progress percentage equals 100%, then the LBL current stat dot text current status finished idle. So this would say finished idle. Okay. Now then, we're gonna debug this I'm gonna find some random garbage to download so let's find something nice and short so I'm gonna copy that paste it there and I'm gonna oops, copy 
there. We're gonna stick into more downwards there. See? Add to queue. And as you can see, this clears and also with no download has started. So, let's add some more. And we'll add just one more so we can see that it is um, doing multiple downloads. You could do as many downloads as you want, but once you hit start and you're continuously adding stuff to the, the queue, it will not count them. It just will not. It won't. But with a slight edit to the code, I believe you can. But since I've already got this in currently running as debug, no, you won't be able to do the. Um, you, won't be able, you won't be able to continuously update it actually. So let's add that. Okay. Now we have our items. Oops. And there we go. It's now initiating the download. If we just quickly open my downloads folder. You can see that it is there. It is downloading. Give it a couple of minutes. Give it a couple more seconds. And there we go. It should switch to the second one now. And now we're starting the third. Job done. And all the files are saved here. Perfect. Okay. That's it from this tutorial, I hope you find it interesting. <laughs> Ugh, sneezing. Anyway, I hope you find it interesting, and also, I hope you do like this and download manager that we've now created. And if you can, the limit to how many files you can download is endless so you can have as many files within the queue but it can only process one file at a time else it'll start screwing you up it's better to do one at a time anyway okay so we've covered how it, how we've coded it we've covered what it looks like and we've covered that it does work okay mcm1 reporting live with a nice download manager for you all and good night <laughs>